Ultimate awesome Planes has a lot of levels. It does. Um, I was looking at just the list here. I think we have... Um, yeah, we still have like four left. Jeez. Yeah, it's well because again, the the worlds have a lot of levels because of the fact that there's only three, unlike the last game where they're broken up into four. Yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, Fracture Hills. Oh boy, now this one is the one that had the the mission that I got stuck on. Definitely won't be able to 100% this one right away. We'll have to come back when we have the the head bush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is not. Not as fun as what I liked. Well, just gonna have to suck it up, little boy. Well, I mean, I'm not the one playing, so who knows? Maybe you'll have a fine time with the, the one with the big rock creatures. Yeah, I'm not even gonna touch those. Speaking of, there he is. Oh, bagpipe fucking suck. Oh, no. Oh, that was funny, ha ha ha. Wasn't even working for Ripto. He was just sick of shit. Yeah, he well, just doesn't hello, like, uh, Dragon. doesn't like bagpipe music. You're pretty cute for a quadruped. I feel like they changed these guys' accent people. from but Valley Girl to Scottish as well. Oh, did they? Soon. That's good, because, yeah, I was going to say, they definitely were, um, were Valley Girl in the original. So, that makes sense. Seems like, uh, Alora's design was changed a little bit to make her fit in better with these... Uh, f fawns as well, because th they looked very different compared to Alora, let's say. Thank you for releasing me. Ah, uh, that takes me back. In stone. Very much a Spire One kind of level here. A little bit in terms of its shape, I can definitely see that. Um, because each of the Spyro games have different kind of level shapes and structures. It feels like, and yeah, I could see this one being a lot more. A lot more like Spyro 1 when you think about it. That's terrifying! Oh yeah, the eyes are angry this time. That's scary, I don't like that. It's like a little bit of bloodshot and whatnot. It's like I thought I was here playing a nice fun kid game, not like, you know, Silent Hill 5. You're here to suffer, mate. Uh, so when you say four levels, does that include the boss? Uh, that does because we got fracture hills here then we have magma cone shady oasis that's what i was thinking of the icy speedway and then gulps overlook so four levels and then the boss there you go look at that guy just chilling there on that precipice that plateau if you will he doesn't know what's coming Man, I wish I was a giant rock person with a big pickaxe to scratch my back with. So yeah, these guys cannot be defeated through conventional means. So we have to be unconventional. Oh, I feel terrible now. <laughs> I hope one of them gives a thumbs up on the way down. Uh, we could only be so lucky, mate. <laughs> I feel so bad now. Like, they're not really bad guys, they're just having a bad day is all. Although, if we gave everyone who's had a bad day the license to turn people to stone and smash them, you know, the world would be a lot more violent. It would be. Nope, nope. Yikes. Yeah, you can't miss. See ya. I turn my back on such darkness. Oh, this guy turned his back to us. Waving to no one. He's waving to the world because he is no longer in it. So yeah, uh, we're probably just going to get the uh, the talisman and then move on here because not really a lot we can do without the head bush. Mm -hmm. We can kill these pigs though. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I'll just leave him there. Yeah. <laughs> That's where he lives now. Yeah. So yeah, uh, basically you need to free uh, all of the uh, the bagpipers because of the fact that every time they play the bagpipe, the world changes. Nice. Nope, no bees for you. Fucking hate those bees. I always took damage from them. 
These bushes made me paranoid as well. Oh yeah, you just want to kill them all just in case. <laughs> Look at him down there, he's like, thank you for releasing me. <laughs> More like implying that I'm still in stone. Nothing to say? Cool. It's actually not that huge of a level, but it is densely packed. Yeah, it's another one of those ones where, I mean, it's a, it's a big kind of spiral area, which, uh, you know, you do up and down and around, and you change the level with, uh, with the music. Didn't ask for a solo, but I'm gonna give you one. <laughs> I want one of them to just break out and, like, take out an electric guitar instead. Ah, you weren't expecting this, were you, laddie? Alright, cool. He has fulfilled his duty. Everyone must burn. Fire, again. The ultimate cleanser. Ah, yes. Might activate the supercharge, go for a run, because there is a skill point to get here. You gotta do three laps of the whole place. That shouldn't be too rough, too bad. It's great to be free. Now there's only one Seder left to rescue. Look at him go. So happy. Get out, get out, get out. Just the fact that the bush lunges at you with eyes open and a wide mouth, not a fan. Well, as humans, we're designed to fear stuff like that. That's obviously not human. That's the uncanny valley. Da -da -da, nothing around there. All right, now what you got to say? Oh, a dragon! Perhaps you can help. My friend is locked in this room and lost the key. Do you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night? Not sure how on the nose that a uh, Scottish accent is, honestly. Think it's? Do you, do you think it's a real one or someone trying to do one? I don't want to say it's fake. Cause if it turns out to be real, I'll just look stupid. And this is the final one. Be free, whoever was in there that I don't particularly care about, but still need the talisman. Shablooey! Now that you have rescued all the satyrs in Fracture Hills, you ought to explore the temple. Can I do that, mate? Can I do that right now? But first... Fuck. You got this little under section here where you have... It's where the most fun mission of the game is. Definitely not the one that made me waste hours and hours on stream. Don't worry about it, mate. Oh. It's in the past now. You're going to the lava one way or the other, mate. I think I can get most, if not all, of the treasure here, at least. And it does save, so that's quite nice. It's not like some games where you need to you need to get everything in one run. That's the worst. Anything in particular there you're referring to? Uh, Banjo Kazooie. Well, the original version of Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Yes. Whoops. That's that's the best change they made was making it so that you can just go and do it as a you know, in the in the Xbox version, get it all in a in different runs. I'd agree with that. As much as I love Banjo Kazooie. That, that, that is a, a mark against the game, for sure. Yet, still prefer it to Tui. Well, Tui's just too big, really. Oh, boy. Oh, that's the section there. Just looking at it gives me... Gives me emotions. It sure does. Whoa, alright, here we go. You gotta get those jumps. And you gotta do three laps of that. Mm-hmm. Cause it does wrap back around to the uh to the first area here you were in. It's like a big old Seder speedway. Oh, shortcut. Not quite. Yeah, no. If you lose the speed power, it doesn't really work. This is where edits come in. Gotta go right through the middle. There we go. Oh, 
Bobby tops. Yep. Don't hold it too long. Don't glide. You don't want that. Hmm. Uh, sure hope that counts. Possibly lap two? Question mark? <laughs> I never really used to use that uh, little snake wave thing there, but hey, now it's coming in very handy. It's worth its weight in gold. All right, let's see if this will count. And three. Yes, it did count. Hooray. Nice. Very good. Okay, now we have to rescue people. Ugh. People. Well, satyrs. Arguably people. Eh, half people at least. Half people, half disgusting creatures. Yeah. Because goats and stuff, honestly, kind of gross. Oh, thank goodness you broke that door down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I found this fancy orb in here. Please, take it. Well, uh, okay. I'm kind of getting sick of orbs, honestly. <laughs> Can we at least get a different flavor of orb? I'm tired of green apple. You'll have to wait until the final thing for that, but it will happen. Alright, there was one other thing that needed uh, the supercharge. I forget, like, what elevation it was at. There you go. Yeah. Why didn't I think of that before? Put your answers on a postcard. Why didn't N Tom think of the bloody obvious? <laughs> Make sure to include stamps. Ah, uh, hmm. Stamps are... Uh, they're cool, I guess. I feel like if I was going to collect anything in life, it would probably be stamps, let's be honest. I just, I, I feel like there's too many different types of stamps, and of course you got the time-locked ones. You'll never get them again. Yeah. Well, until a time machine is created, of course. That's true. And then the stamp economy is ruined. So this one will require a little bit of editing, but it's not too bad. And I mean, we're gonna have to come back here anyways once we get all our, all our powers to finish it up, so... Yep, get our ducks in a row and whatnot. Just stand still, he says. Oh, this is the one. Oh, no! Oh, I, well, I think you have to do this one two times. Uh, well, I mean, I, I think you have to redo the first one if you come back with um, the skull bash. Oh, so yeah, we might as well not even do it. Hmm. More, you say? Directly over there, is it? Might be just something I missed on the ground level. Possibly. Or maybe one of those uh, silver pots. Oh, it must be in the temple. There are some behind her in the temple, I remember that. Oh. Right, so... Oh! Was that one to your left there? You going left? Right straight there? Nice looking out, mate. Ooh, -hoo, I saw that red. He saw it. And I can't unsee it. Lad's lived an odd life, so he has. That's that's the beauty of Discord now. <laughs> I can actually see these things. Uh, I'm happy for you, mate. I'm sorry you had to sit through the, uh, the other kind of shit. Hey, no worries. You destroyed that flag. Oh, hi, Dragon Boy. You're probably expecting me to say, you're my hero. Thanks for saving poor helpless little me. Sorry, short stuff. I was only in here because I like the peace and quiet. Yep, anyway, she's still a cunt. The other wanted me to give you this talisman. Eh. She's Scottish. Wow. <laughs> okay, we've done all this stuff about the race war and the genocide, but that's too far. I'm not banning you out of that one. <laughs> That's fair. I'll, I'll I'll have the comments to uh, <laughs> explode at me. We deserve this. 
Huh. There you go, change the frequency. They like it. Uh, you know, maybe they just prefer rock music. Ha ha ha, that's not bad, actually. I know. Makes me very happy. A69. 3969. Yeehaw. I said. Oh, sorry. Yeehaw. Yes, partner. <laughs> Jesus. That sounds so scared, right? Sorry, me and cowboys have had bad experiences. What could that possibly mean? Oh well, my attention has already moved on to other things. Oh, Spyro, hello! I'm having trouble with this door, but I think some orb power. I thought he was going to say I'm having trouble with this trolley. <laughs> Yikes! <sighs> All righty. We got the magma cone. I believe there's a hen wall around here somewhere. I think there is, which leads to some fun stuff. I can let you into the little castle over there in exchange for a few gems. What do you say? Yeah. No one's been through that portal in years. I never thought I'd find a sucker. I, I mean, <clears throat> you're a shrewd customer, Spyro. I'll be back for you, and I'm not going to be gentle. He will get his comeuppance. Whoa, he's there as well. It's the power of capitalism. Lets you be everywhere. Control everything. There we go. Yeah. Just taking a break from levels to uh, do some hub stuff. Not that I dislike Magma Cone or anything. In fact, I think I like it better than Fracture Hills, but... Yeah, I remember not having too much trouble with that one. That one was is one that's it's quite nice. Yeah, it's a cooldown level. Ironic. Yeah, because of the volcano and whatnot. Very good. Spot on, mate. So fucking funny. I try very hard. <laughs> you do. I'm sorry. Uh, here we go. Oh, probably should have started from a bit higher up. Ooh, let's see. No, I think you got this. Oh, yeah, you got this. Bodacious. Orb! Long distance, just like all my relationships. You alright, mate? You, you, you need to talk about something? It's okay. It's fine. Jesus. <laughs> I'm genuinely worried now. Don't do that. I'm, I'm getting many forms of Spyro-based PTSD. Well, they never said it was a, uh, a completely calming series. There are uh, many triggering moments in it. Nice. Hey, we got all the orbs here. Did I miss a gem down there? Oh, sparks. Fucking seriously. Hidey hole ones. The, it's the ones that anger me the most, really. Yeah, if it, if it's like a 10, then you're like, oh, well, at least there's the fact that, you know, this one was implied to be worth a lot and hidden. But if it's a 1, it's like, oh, this was literally just fodder that you were meant to find. I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm keeping an eye out. It's like pointing through the wall. So apparently in the uh, Spyro speedrunning community, they love and hate this castle. Uh, they love it because of the fact that it's like really, really well put together and it is, you know, quite, unlike some parts of the game, it is, you know, really well constructed. But they also hate it because of the fact that there's like no way to like glitch your way through stuff. It's so well put together, so it's like, you know, if you're trying to do some, some fun, like, you know, skipping around stuff, uh, it's really hard to do that. Where be your gems? Show me your gems. Over there, is it? There's that group there. There is some more, I guess, over here. At the uh, Oasis, which is the level I thought was the Escort one that I was talking about earlier. Let's get the gems. Spyro Gems Collection, featuring Spyro R, Spyro CD, and Spyro the Fighters. Weird. That's weird. 
I know. Only one of those games is good. Now that's not weird. That just makes a lot of sense. I would love to let you enter this speedway free of charge, Spyro. Love to. Unfortunately, the speedway rules require me to charge a, a small fee. Seriously, I'm just making a list. I'm going to check it twice, You've mate. Chosen wisely. <laughs> the list like says kill money bags. Money no kill money bags. Oh, it's on there twice, huh? Weird. All right, I see Speedway it is. I see you picked the Speedway. It's okay, Tom. Just, just get, just get for it. Just get for it. You'll be, you'll be doing a So, it. how come when you do puns, it's fine, but when I do, it's a problem? Because I'm insecure, that's why you fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a bit too brutal for me, I'm not gonna lie. They literally scream when they say you flying towards them. <laughs> it's not pleasant. I don't really have an order for this one, I'm not gonna lie. I remember this one I got, I think, in my first attempt. It was, like, remarkably easy compared to the others, and I was like, oh. Huh. The skaters are a little bit annoying. Yeah, you kinda have to jump out for them. That's a unique model just for this one thing. Well, apparently, uh, in the game's, um epilogue there they do show off there are some unused enemies in the game that uh that they they paint a picture of that could have been in neat have to keep an eye out for those it's like you see these models and you're like these would have been real cool to just fight <laughs> but no oh well then again would they have been killed any differently than just a uh, you know a single shot to the head true mate very, very true. And also, you nearly died there by falling in the water, but you saved it. That was kind of cool. I'm aware, mate. I'm just a... I'm so epic! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. We just have uh, a skater left. There he is! There we go! Nice! One and done. Well, I mean, aside from the fact that we do have to go back and now look for the NPC. It's cool. I know where it is. This one's kind of tricky, actually. Because it's skill-based, and you know how bad I am when it comes to skills. Yeah. I do. Good job, Spyro. Looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. Dude, look at his like fucking like Guy Fieri sled. Nights, are you? Oh, it's rad. It's gonna drive you down to Flavortown, Alaska. Is, is Flavortown heaven? Is Guy just wishing to leave? Oh, that's... that's deep. <sighs> Alright, take three. I told you it was hard, but you didn't listen. Don't necessarily have to fly through the middle of the rings, you know. It's, it matters more that you just get through it, but, of course, the way it snaps back and forth, you have to be careful that you don't accidentally whip out of there too quickly. The first 25, no problem. It's cool. Yeah, it's just there's, there's the one that makes you kind of go back and forth in an unorthodox fashion. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, we passed it. Oh. There we go. Way to go, Spyro. You're even better than I am. Magical orb powers. An orb for our troubles. Hey, <laughs> yeah. We had so much fun, we forgot about the fact that we're trying to save the people from this horrible manlet. Fuck him. Fuck him right in the ear. Oh, no, I don't like that. So, uh, there's many better orifices. His nostrils are way larger. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Let me find the right tone. Hmm. That's better. Jesus Christ, I hope you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm having a blast recording this spiral. That's why I can sit for, like, three hours at a time with my fan off. 
and just bear it. Hide your face and bear it. Go now. Magma Cone is beckoning. It's a good thing there's these magical, you know, things that send us upward, otherwise we'd be stuck out there. How does Moneybags get around then? Because he can't glide. Again, he just has capitalism. It warps him places. Well, alright. Second lava level. Bit of a different theme, less prehistoric, more just, well, volcano. And there's like tiny satyrs in this one as well. Oh, yeah, there are. Actually, I'm not sure what they're called. I think they are satyrs. I don't know. Maybe I'll just let the cutscene show me. Oh yeah, those 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 are more of a satyr than any of the satyrs that are actually in the game. Get them a bit more of a human face as well. Oh. <laughs> Not me. Fuck you. Got mine. Hmm. Oh yeah, magma cone's fiend. It's good. Sounds like they're saying, "Oh no!" at points. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Spyro, I suppose you're here for the party. Well, I'm afraid it's been cancelled because the stupid Earth Shaper set off the volcano. Why doesn't uh, Elora have an accent? Um, maybe she just tries really hard. You know, like how there's some American people who try and put on a fake British accent to try and sound better. Maybe it's like she tries really hard to do a fake American one to try and like you know. To, to appeal more to uh, to a wider base. I, well, I think it's because if they gave her a Celtic accent, uh, some people's dick would blow off. It would. It would. Nia from Xenoblade awoke many things in people. Lord have mercy. A few days off from uh, Xenoblade DE. It's gonna be good. Oh. I, I, d I didn't mean for that to happen. That yeah, works. And hey! We got baby versions of them now, which can just be killed through conventional means. Were they wearing shorts? That's hilarious. Yeah, I don't want their rock genitalia showing. You could have just said rocks, mate. That was a level beyond me. I can do basic puns, but more, you know, wordplay like that. Too much. You're dabbling with dark arts here, mate. Be careful. I definitely remember this level being a lot darker in the original. I don't even remember there being, like, the grass at the side and, you know... I remember it being quite quite a bit shadier. Uh, I think the light improves that a little bit. Look at him just dancing away up there. I mean, in general, the PS1 did not even have actual lighting. It just kind of baked on a, you know, a color for everything, where this can actually have shading and, and you know, shadows and stuff. Well, I want you to go, at some point, maybe, I don't know, you could stop the video, I don't really care, go check out the original Autumn Plains versus the new one. Now, maybe there's a tad too much bloom here and there, but it's a world of difference. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I know a lot of people don't like bloom too much, but a little bit of bloom is quite nice. It's just when there's too much bloom, because that's when it's a problem. We're, we're just straight up killing these guys, honestly. Like, the ones in Fracture Hills were fine after they were placated with some good music, which, honestly, them getting annoyed is fine. They probably, you know, sent a nice letter with good handwriting to the satyrs about playing their music at 3am, but no, did they listen? Of course not. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little bit of a tangent. I may have been projecting a little bit there. Do you have people that play music loudly around you at night? Not really, no. So I don't know even where that came from. Uh, maybe it's uh, from another life. Maybe. Where I actually had one. Oh, dang. Self-burn? <laughs> exactly. It's like, who am I cheering for in this case? Boom. Ha 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 ha. Yes, I liked that. Anytime a game just gives you a whole bunch of little things, you're like, yeah, that feels better than getting one large one. It does. It absolutely does. Now, I am not sure if uh, we can 100% this one straight away. I think we can. I can give us a Google and check. Uh, this is Magma Cone. 
I'm going to type in head to see what comes up. Nope. Or bash. Nope. So we're good. Nice. Uh, I think the only one that requires it is actually Shady Oasis. So we're all good in that regard. Oh no. What a weird sample to put in. When you look at the history of video game samples and music, it's kind of crazy because you'll learn very quickly that like a ton of games use the same samples. Um, and it's like, wow, uh, I mean, the amount of samples that exist in the world is pretty high, but the fact that two video games will use the exact same one, it's like, huh, interesting. Thank God, I was running short on lives. <laughs> we were worried that we'd, uh, we'd, we'd not survive and get a game over. Ah, here he is. Well, if it isn't my best customer, the elevator in the next room can take you to the volcano. You can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few gems. Why are we humoring this guy? Sounds like a wonderful a deal. He said the word unlimited in there. Simply step onto the elevator and it will take That just means he doesn't really own it. He just owns the access to it. Oh, well, whatever. No use came from complaining when you could just pay up. No use came from, uh, you know, uh, petitions on the internet either. Well, sometimes. Has there ever been an instance of a petition on the internet changing anything? I honestly could not tell you. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where whenever I see one and people are like, Sign this petition and we can get this to happen. It's like, no. <laughs> what? No. Oh, you silly sluts. I definitely thought I remember there being lizards in this level. Oh, there are. You'll see him soon, don't worry. Alright, because in my mind I associate, uh, you know, this level with uh, lizards, and I'm like, huh, I don't, I don't, I have not seen one yet. Alright, moving around here. Keep it going. This is also a thing in God of War 2. It is. Sadly, we can't make Spyro go and kick boxes. Hades! What? Oh, sorry, I was checking to see if that would work. Oh my god. Just gotta get to the top, and then everything will be fine. Interestingly, they're not round. They're egg-shaped when they're falling down. A strange choice. Hey! Up of it, shimmy. Up of it, shimmy. It's a, it's a, you know, it's, it's a simple, simple thing, but it works until it doesn't, I guess. Ah. Hey, camera, could you, uh, camera? Hey, camera. Ho ho. We can still go diagonally, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably make it a bit easier. There we go. That one should have hit me. It should have, but we're good. Bippo! <laughs> Bippo the fawn. It's a rough name to have. I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. Let's have a look here. Yeah, that's a magma cone, all right. We're gonna do shots out of it originally. Yeah, boy. Well, I miss Sparks. Hey, Spyro! You're just in time for the party. Well, Cheddar, would be, but I asked for Gouda. Ah! Uh, and then Gouda just comes along and like, "Hey, I'm Gouda." <laughs> What's up? I'm here. Oh, we got a five. Terrifying. Game's starting to starting to have a moment. Yep. I'm gonna have a moment if I have to do this again. Mm -hmm. Nope. Hit his party hat. Thankfully, no one's ever been hurt by a party hat before. Except emotionally. All the time, mate. Uh, even in instances you wouldn't think. Can't think of any off the top of my head, because I didn't think this joke through, but you know. See someone wearing a party hat and go, I wish it was my birthday. 
Mm, well, you get one per year, mate. Make it count. Unless you're born on a leap year, like on the day of the leap year, then you get a birthday every four years. That sucks. That really does suck. On the other hand, I'm practically immortal now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I can live four times as long as the average human being. No, Mr. Burns, even the slightest bit of age, invincible. <laughs> That's what you get for tipping your party hat to me. <laughs> he said my dragon as he did it. <laughs> my dragon. Circle to spit. To be fair, this was a five star one, so it makes sense that I had to retry it. You know, it's it's strange that, uh, just to me at least, that this game is available on the Switch because I just I only equate Spyro with, you know, PlayStation. So if I saw, oh, press the B button to spit, it would just look so wrong. You know, you say you say they're associated with Sony, but they weren't in PS All Stars, so. Yeah, then again, a lot wasn't in PS All Stars. Yeah, that's true. Like, good gameplay. Woohoo! Oh, a hmm. bit too far, maybe. They're gonna start crying, mate. You know what, though? Honestly, I can say that because I probably put more time into PlayStation All Stars than anyone in the comment sections here. Jesus. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, I really wanted to get that Smash Bros like feeling for a brand new video game company. Well, sorry, only Nintendo and crazy, obscure Japanese companies can do that. And I almost chipped a tooth on it. Here you go, Spyro. Oh, isn't it nice? Green like the grass of home. I don't know what accent that was. There's a little little mix of everything. For everyone and everywhere. Because when everyone's Irish, no one will be. <laughs> the Irish oversaturation plan. As a Masu, just get a fucking hobby, mate. I mean, we've talked about this before, but literally, you've got your own clone. Just have sex already. You can even make your clone, like, go into other people's bodies? Like, come on. That's 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 for real. It's for realsies, man. Don't get more real than that. Alright, where is this? Is it up? <laughs> Sparks warps into the rock face and is no longer seen. Yeah. If I was pointing over there, I guess I missed some outside. It must be, yeah, it must be on the outside there. Sadly, you can't just do a big old flight all the way, you know, up the volcano to the outside. You actually have to take the elevator. Well, I mean, we paid for it. We might as well use it. Did you just lose your f super flight waiting here? Yep. Dang. Well, that's one way to make it so that you can't use it outside. Yeah, I guess it's so you can't abuse it or anything. That's one way so that the developers could just be like, okay, you know, we're tired of putting up the invisible collisions everywhere. Just make it so they can't super fly. Come on. Ah, you bastards. Ah, there they are. Over there, is it? Where are you pointing me? Up, perchance? Maybe. Oh. Hey, there we go. Nice. Straight down. That's a little bit awkward, Spog, so I'm not gonna lie. Is it in the bottom of there? Oh, yeah. I just remembered what this is. Yeah, I forgot about this. Be that them all? Nope. Well, we'll get him on the way, Bob. Hey, Spyro. Check out this cool cave I found. Let's play a little game. Every so often, a piece of this crystal popcorn pops out of the ground. The first one to grab ten of them wins. Oh, this one's tricky. <sighs> yeah, I remember this one being another one that I'm took a couple tries. Starts at three, then we'll go to two, and then strangely back to five, and six for some reason. It's 
weird how Hunter always knows where these things are. Mm-hmm. Almost like he's a cheat. A cheating little bitch. Yeah, sadly, unlike, um, you know, uh, the, the alligator friend from Banjo-Kazooie, where you do basically the same thing, uh, you can't really uh, get to them before him and just make him so that he gets nothing. Nope, mine. Oh, you did for that one. Just stay ahead, Tom. Just stay ahead. You can do it. One more. There you go. Okay, you win. Ah, ganked. What a word. Nice lie in there, Hun uh, Hunter. Hunter. Give you another orb if you can beat me again. Let's play to 15 this time. What do you say? Uh, 15 is not too bad. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> this time I have a gun, Spyro. <laughs> yeah, let's see you fucking deal with this, you <laughs> apex predator piece of shit. Oh, he's faster now, I think. He's faster, stronger, something too. It's the worst member of the DK crew. Hunter. Hunter Kong is here. Yo, Hunt Hunter Kong sounds kind of sick, though. Sounds like, you know, like a like a monkey with a gun. I like it. Jesus. Oh, he's really going for him. What a strange idea for a mission. It's crystal popcorn. Uh, sure. Okay. I guess. Couldn't have been anything else? Uh, no. I wanted that. Couldn't you just absolutely stay beside him at all times and just steal his? Uh, it could work sometimes, absolutely. Mine. Also mine. Mine also. Mine. One more. You didn't even get double digits, You're bitch! Really Nice. Come up with some harder games. For now, I'll take this orb. I guess you earned it. Wasn't this one also one that was like at a top-down sort of angle in the original? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Huh. I thought I recall it being. Maybe I'm thinking of another mini game there. Maybe you're just insane, mate. It could be. It could be. It's absolutely possible. Okay, so there are gems around here, you say? Oh, I see a bottle in the distance. See it over there? Yep, I see it. Good eyesight. Jesus. I mean, I wear glasses for a reason. Wow, that's like you have four eyes. It's true. That's how it works. If I wear two sets of glasses, then I'm just a full-on insect, huh? And we done here. I think we just have um, Shady Oasis left. We have um, Shady Oasis, yeah, because we did the Icy Speedway. So yeah, Shady Oasis, and then we have Gulp's Overlook. Mm -hmm. And then we'll uh, double back, and uh, we'll get the couple of orbs in uh, Fracture Hills, and that should be all done in the hood. Blah. Yeah, blah. Blah. Oh, it's nice to have big round numbers.